Harvard Medical School found that there was a 37% decrease in heart disease among habitual nappers. So a habitual napper was someone who napped like three or more times a week. 37% less likely to die of heart disease. Now, when they focused on men, it more than doubled. There was a 68% decrease in heart disease among men who nap habitually. Now, I was running this talk past a doctor friend of mine, and they confirmed that there is no known medication currently available, no pill you can take, that can reduce a man's chances of dying of heart disease by 68%. There's no pill, but there is a medication, and the medication is taking a nap. Each day, or as many times through the week as you can, going to sleep in the middle of the day for 20 to 60 minutes. They did another study in Switzerland. This one was really cool because it was a big study. 3,000 people randomly selected from the Swiss population ages 35 to 75. And what they found was, again, direct correlations between people not dying and those who had naps. Even people who just had one nap a week had a 42% less likelihood of dying of heart disease, stroke, and heart attacks. Those are like three of the biggest killers in the Western world. And this was just taking a nap once a week. So really, the jury is in. If you want to live longer, take a nap.